The many studies about the impacts of 2.4 gigahertz breaking mitochondrial DNA, for example, inside the eggs of females didn't seem to stop the rollout of uh, 2.4 and Wi-Fi. In my lame brain, guys, this information should be enough to immediately halt the untested unleashing of 60 gigahertz frequency. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm sick to death of talking about 5G. I have so many other things regarding this unprecedented historical event that we are all going through, but I wanted to share this because of a couple of really important reasons other than my video being taken down today. But one, California Governor Gavin Newsom's order to do exactly what I posed we need to keep an eye out for in the last video, installation of new wireless equipment during the quarantine. But the most eye-opening event of all that all of you need to understand is that during the near peak moment of hysteria regarding this whole pandemic with looming shutdowns on the news, everyone's running around buying up all the toilet paper. An act was passed into law titled, quote, Secure 5G and Beyond Act of 2020. Yep, this act calls for a comprehensive plan to secure a national 5G grid in no later than 180 days. Yeah, they did it. This bill that was made into a law on March 23rd, link in description, it demands quick deadlines to ramp up this agenda into high gear. Why on earth would they be doing this now? I ask, and isn't it interesting that the bill admits that the period for public comment about this law must happen within 60 days? There are only like 53 some days left. So they pass this law when we won't be able to get out and protest? When we're gonna be forced to be locked up during this quarantine? Just a coincidence, right? Is it also a coincidence that the bill names representatives of Homeland Security, National Intelligence, the Department of Energy and Defense as consultants for its strategic implementation? Do we really need that just to get faster speeds? I don't think so. This bill gives much language in the way of protecting the companies involved from the benefit of the installation of this weapon, much language to protect America's economic interest, as well as protecting the infrastructure rollout itself with not a word about protection for the people against potential hazards of this admittedly untested technology. Guys, you can be sure it has been tested by the military decades ago, but not one study has been done by telecom to prove its safety against us. They admitted it to you. I showed you in the video. Many of you out there right now, a large portion of you are already suffering with symptoms from wireless and you don't even know it. The inability to sleep or feel rested when you do sleep, impaired memory or the inability to concentrate the way you used to. Some of you have ringing in your ears or headaches, even migraines. Some of you cannot reproduce. Try it as hard as you can and pay as much as you want. It's just not happening. Many school nurses I've talked to have seen huge increases in the number of headaches and nosebleeds in children at school over the last few years since 2.4 gigahertz and multiple transmitters, sometimes over 30 in a room, have been generously provided for them. Even anxiety, irritability, or bouts of depression are all linked already to the exposure. Normal wireless radiation fields we already have. Because this is a whole new level and Trump is all for it.